a Team USA out there warming up right now. Why don't we run through rosters just because we've got this time. So Team USA, uh, number 07, Jackie Daniels, number 12, Carmen Getsum, 127, Jessica Chestnut, 147, Baller Shot Caller. Number 16 is Asia Gare. Number 18 is V Diva. Three, Satan's Little Helper skating under her legal name, Davila. Davila. Uh, 307, uh, Shania Sarilson. Uh, 13, I'm sorry, 314, Caffeine. 33, Lacey Knight. 340, Bonnie Thunders. 4, Jess Rivas. 41, Roxy Dallas. 49, Casey Back. 5, Smarty Pants. 50, Scald Eagle. 6, Snot Rocket Science. 68, Sexy Slady. 77 is Lauren Much, 99 Tracy Akers. That is, uh, they're only skating with 15 on the roster. I believe that is the full 20 that we just read you. So I know V Diva is not suited up. I believe Baller Shot Caller is not suited up, but we will be a little more specific about that after warmups are completed. Do you want to do France or you want me to try France? If, you, if I struggle, I'll, I might look to you, but uh, looking at Team from skating out today, uh, will be number zero, Gorth, number seven, Mac Rocket, seven, two, Jolly, one, two, Jenna Cross, one, two, two, Olive Hoover, one, three, Gara Lagasse, one, three, three, one, Churik Coltrice, one, seven, seven, St. Blandine, one, eight, Miss Gadine, one, nine, Tatiana Galaski, one, nine, one, Missy Hammer, Three, three, three. Sue Percute. Yep. Five. Buffon. Fifty-one. Cash Pistache. Sixty-three. Pepe Le Punch. Sixty-three. Sixty-six. Sorry. Simon. Seven-three. Oshi. Seven-three-seven. Didi Froquet. Seven-four-seven. Purple. And ninety-three. Hooligan for Team France. Again, that is the full roster of the skaters here with us in Manchester today uh, and we'll bring you a few updates as to who's joining us on the track from the team. Right you are, Brom. So, Brom, I call for a uh, team in Cleveland, Ohio, uh, Burning River Roller Derby and the Chicago outfit. Who do you announce for? I uh, formerly of Essex Men's Roller Derby, but now I, I, I rove the nation uh, calling the UK as I see it at games wherever I can. Well, that's a good gig. All right, so yeah, we are, according to the scoreboard clock on the S1 Helmets CO track, we are 1 minute 26 seconds till Derby. So tune in tonight at 7.30 p.m. UK time after the final game of the day for a day one roundup. Looking back at all the action and best highlights along with interviews and a live studio audience. That'll be after the final game of the day. How very exciting that will be. All right, so if you want to find us on social media, there is a Twitter site, Derby World Cup. We have a hashtag RDWC2018. Time to Derby, 40 seconds. And here on the S1 Helmet Company track, S1 Lifer Helmet, best fit and best protection made for roller derby. Get a lifer, be a lifer, S1, the official helmet of the 2018 Roller Derby World Cup. So I was just on the uh, last call of Canada versus Wales. Canada looked very strong. Canada clearly is kind of an upper level team in this tournament, but coming out in white, and of course there's a chicken in the audience, as you can see. Coming out, we have Bonnie Thunders wearing white, number 340. Team USA looking to defend their World Cup title, their World Cup championship. And we are about ready to get underway with both of these teams' first bout of the day. Both of these teams will play again later in the day, but we are underway. That is Cash Pissache, number 51 for France, France in blue, and 340 Bonnie Thunders in white for Team USA. 
and Bonnie Thunder secures the first lead jam position of the bout. Cash Fish Stash right behind her. Yep, coming in to take that scoring pass. Bonnie Thunders calling it off as Cash Fish hit the back of the pack. Not picking up any points. Bonnie Thunders adding the first point to Team USA's score. Roller Derby Elite, level your game up. Thank you, Roller Derby Elite. So on the line for Team USA, that is Scald Eagle. Picking up Lee Jammer for Team USA. Scald Eagle re-enters the pack, this time on a scoring pass. Mac Roquette is the jammer for France. She's held up in the pack, star in hand, able to get by Roxy Dallas. So Mac Roquette on a scoring pass called the Eagle, completes a scoring pass and calls off the jam there. Team France ending the jam with their pivot standing in the penalty box. We'd like to thank Double Threat Skates. Double Threat Skates, expert advice from experienced staff. Head to doublethreatskates.co.uk. And that is Lauren Much stepping up to the start line for Team USA. And uh, Diddy Froquet. Diddy Froquet caught in the back of the pack some of her players getting in her way but it is Laura Munch that picks up the jammer coming in for that scoring pass Team France holding her up the front stretching out the pack yeah Lauren Munch comes through points on the board for Team USA the star pass to the pivot that is number 13 Gara LaGrace Lauren with a reversed pass through the pack secures three additional points for Team USA on that, a total of eight. Again, you are watching Team USA in white, Team France in blue. We are about ready to do our fourth jam of the contest. Our score currently 18 to zero. Bonnie Thunders going back to the jammer line for Team USA. That is Pepe La Punch. Bonnie, Bonnie. Bonnie Thunders getting off to an incredibly quick start through Team France. But the star stash has meant that Pepe La Punch is through. Also coming in for that scoring pass, forcing Team USA to calling it off. Both teams with one skater in the penalty box, so it'll be a three-on-three -three pack once we get underway. But yeah, 22 to zero. And that is Casper Stash back on the jam line for Team France. Scald Eagle for the United States. Early on, Team USA going with a three jammer rotation. Scald Eagle with one to beat, and she finds Daylight and heads into the back straight away. Two USA blockers in the penalty box, and uh, Jess Rivas was scheduled to go in and had no room, so Scald Eagle has not a lot of blocker support out there right now, and the penalty on Scald Eagle, so it is a power jam opportunity for Cash Pistache and Team France. This will be the first points of the bout for Team France. Out of play was the penalty. And the crowd has gone absolutely electric responding to this power jam situation that Team France have got at the moment. Cash yes. Pistache going through, adding on a second scoring pass, about to break out the front of Team USA. It's electric in here. Yeah, and again, one of the challenges Team USA was having is they were hemorrhaging blockers during the beginning of that jam. 
So Scald Eagle now back on the track. Both teams at full strength. Points have been scored by France. 14 so far. This jam with 40 seconds left. A multi-player block. Not sure who's coming off. It is a French skater. That I think is Saint Baldine. Scald Eagle through on another scoring pass, adding four more to Team USA's. Team France losing two blockers to the penalty box. So 10 seconds, less than 10 seconds left in the jam. Scald Eagle able to secure additional points for Team USA on that pass. And with that, the jam is whistled to an end. France on the board in the first power jam opportunity for either team. And there you go. 16 points between the two teams. The first seven minutes of the game through. Yeah, uh, you know, Team USA had 22 points when that jam started, and France just put 20. That is the most points scored on the USA this early in a Roller Derby World Cup. And we're underway with Lauren Munch jamming for Team USA. The jammer for Paris is, I think that's, I think that's Mac Rocket. That is Mac Rocket. On it is. Being recycled, struggling to break through. Mac Rocket removing the helmet cover. Currently holding it in hand, but Team USA forcing a cut track penalty on France's jammer. Yeah, Lauren Much, as I've been reminded, and properly so. Lauren Much adding another five to Team USA's score. While Team France currently down one blocker and the jam ends with Team France's jammer still in the box. So we're approaching 22 minutes left. These are 30 minute bouts. Each team has one timeout. Each team has one official review. The clock will run during the official review and this is a timeout taken by Team France. So our clock, and let, unless it's an official review, all right, so the clock's running. So I thought if it was a team timeout, the clock was going to stop. So the indication on the scoreboard is it's a timeout, but the clock is running like it's an official review. So. Strong Athletic would just like to thank the Derby community for always changing, holding one another to high standards and helping to constantly make our sport better. Check them out, strongathletic.com. All right, so I've been told that the clock is going to run at all timeouts. It's an incredibly jam-packed day here on the first day of the Roller Derby World Cup at Advent City in Manchester. An incredible number of games. And that's Bonnie Thunders for Team USA. Remember, Team France's jammer still in the penalty box. Bonnie Thunder picks up lead. Both jammers now back in play. That is Mac Rockets who is through two Paris blockers in the box. Bonnie Thunders with four points there for Team USA. Uh, the Team USA defense has been very strong. We are Seven jams in, France has only scored once. That was the 20 point jam that Cash Pistache put up during the Scald Eagle power jam. Scald Eagle back out there now. Four on two, pack advantage for Team USA. Pepe Le Punch on the line for France. Team USA already up front. Pepe Le Punch coming up against an incredibly 
tight wall, struggling to find a single hole in there. Team France, two blockers down in the penalty box. Yeah, a lot of, every, only one blocker out on the track right now trying to defend against the Denver skater Skull the Eagle. Team USA also down to three blockers on the track. Jackie Daniels going into the box for Texas Roller Girls. Scald Eagle, double digit scoring points so far with 10 in this jam. Scald Eagle able to absorb the hit from the French defenders and circle the track again. Out there in the pack for USA. We've got Asia Gare and Roxy Dallas as there's two USA blockers in the penalty box. Scald Eagle almost able to tightrope her way through turn three, not able to complete the pass. And I think that was uh, Jenna Cross that uh, forced the recycle on Scald Eagle. Really nice rotating three wall, um, but just full school from the outside to the inside of the pack and then all the way back. And so I think we're just going to have a look at the start of that jam again. Let me do this. Lauren Much jamming for Team USA. Going up against Didi Froquet for Team France. The penalty box now free and clear of skaters. So both teams at full strength as Smarty Pants comes out of the box. And Lauren. this is Didi Froquet's first ever World Cup as well. And she's in the jammer rotation for France. This is the second time she's jammed. If my score sheet is correct, she does the star stash to escape the pack. Lauren with a very nice, she found daylight through the outside of the back straightaway and was able to harvest four points for Team USA. Kaya skates, quad roller skates, plates and accessories for roller derby, lifestyle, park skating and dance. It's time kaya-brand.com and again Team USA continuing with the three jammer rotation I believe they're rotating their pack also I'll try to get you a closer in, uh, I think they've got two packs rotating in and out as penalties allow caffeine out there right now with, uh, among others, Asia Gare for Team USA. Bonnie Thunders is through. Also, Smarty Pants in the pack. And Roxy Dallas, there is your USA pack. Bonnie Thunders taken off her skates. And it looks like Gorth is being sent to the penalty box for Team France, trying to recycle Bonnie Thunders, but being sent to the box in the process. Mac Rocket with star in hand as she's going up against the USA defenders. Bonnie Thunders finds an outside line through turn four and she is rotating through the back of your screen. Again, a solid USA defense. France has only scored in one jam so far. Oshi going to the penalty box. So again, Team France filling up the penalty box with blockers. So Bonnie able to secure 10 points. Less than 16 minutes to play. Again, these are 30 minute bouts on day one of the World Cup 2018. 38 teams and like 81 referees, and oh, the only announcers are you and I, right, Brom? We're the, we're the only ones here all weekend from end to finish. Um, Val Capone, not, not happy And about Val that. Capone, <laughs> there's three announcers. Scald Eagle, the jammer of record for Team USA, wearing the white 50, dodges, and finds daylight through the inside of turn two, and she is on her second scoring pass now, five up on the board. Team France nearly with a full complement of skaters on the track as the final uh, block of the pivot for Team France returns to the track. So 
We'll have everyone on track as the next jam, as we go into the next jam. Yeah, so that's good for Team France because, again, they started that last jam with not quite the entire roster in the penalty box, but close to it. Yeah. Let us know what your predictions are and the players to watch this weekend by getting in touch with us on social media using hashtag RDWC2018, Twitter, Instagram, and have your posts featured in between games on the live stream. Lauren Much jamming for Team USA going up against Didi Froquet. And Didi Froquet is through. That is the first lead jam for Team France. It comes at approximately the 14 minute, 20 second mark. Lauren Much is through. She stumbles a little bit through turn three, turn four. That is the second time she stumbled. So there might be a patch of gravity there that we're gonna have to clean up. And uh, I think France have certainly brought with them a massive harem of supporters. There is, a, there is a lot of people on their feet at the moment during France's first lead jam. Both jammers struggling to break through walls. We've almost come to a standstill. Yeah, uh, Jackie Daniels, Roxy Dallas holding down the front of the pack for Team USA. Also Smarty Pants out there. And a jammer penalty on Lauren Much blocking with the head. Sends her to the box. So the second power jam for Team France. A forearm penalty will send Roxy Dallas off. Right, so it's all Team France at the moment. The full five points added to Team France's score. The first time that we've seen points added since that power jam in the first four minutes of the game. Yeah, so, and this could turn into a double digit scoring jam as Didi Froquet is on her second scoring pass. Lauren now coming out of the penalty box and that is the second scoring jam and the second double digit scoring jam for Team France. Lauren much out of the box putting points on the board so USA will not be held, will continue the scoring streak. But Didi Froquet really, really light on their feet coming round the uh, inside of turn three, one foot. And you see the replay of Didi finding the inside line on her toe stop and coming out of the back straightaway into turn three and four. So the role of Derby Toulouse player Pepe Le Punch is stepping up for Team France. Yeah, the Bonnie Thunders jamming for the United States. A track cut. With, this will be a power jam for Team USA as Pepe heads to the box with a track cut. So Bonnie Thunders, who is new at roller derby. Just kidding. I don't think I've seen it before. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. Have we? <laughs> I'm too young to have um, <laughs> seen uh, roller derby uh, before. Um, right. Bonnie Thunders, the experienced veteran, now with a power jam opportunity. That's what I meant to say. Team France looking incredibly solid as Bonnie Thunders comes in, but quickly split up by some great offense work from Team USA. Still only three of their blockers currently on the track. Full compliment for Team France. Yeah, so you've got Jess Rivas out there with Carmen Getson, Shania Saracen, and uh, let's see if I can get you the other Team USA skater. That was Asia Gare. So again, I do think the Team USA pack is rotating four on, four off, at least as penalties allow. That is eight points there for Bonnie Thunders, 110 for Team USA in white, 33 for France in blue. Just over 10 minutes left. And um, Team France's bench, which is closest to where we're currently sat, looking incredibly happy and calm. And they, they look like they're enjoying themselves. Well, when they've had the opportunity they with, with jammer penalties, they've hit double-digit scoring points. So that is something to be uh, 
to take some pride in. Scald Eagle stays on her toe stops and is not able to stay in bounds. Called for the track cut. So let's see again, Brom, if France can get a double digit scoring jam as they've had. So there is no lead jammer in this particular jam. So France, every time they've been given this opportunity, they have uh, they've taken full advantage and got themselves double digit points added to their score. But a very tight, slow pack stuck between turns two, uh, one and two. Yeah, we'll give some love and attention to the pack. Sexy Slady out there in a track cut now on the French jammer. So both jammers have been called for a track cut. Scald Eagle back out on the track. And the no pass, no penalty gets Scald through. And that is the initial pass. So this jam obviously will run the full two minutes. As we cross the nine minute mark in this contest, Sexy Slady out there. So we've got a Gotham pack and a uh, Denver jammer. The Gotham Pack supplemented by Smarty Pants, but you've got Sexy Slady out there. You've got Caffeine and Roxy Dallas. Those so, are all of the Gotham skaters on Team USA. So Casper Stash has returned to the track. Jenna Cross is still in the penalty box. Team France's blocker. The full five points scoring pass was scored Eagle. The pack have decided that they don't want to move at the moment. Spoken <laughs> too soon. The jam's called off. And uh, another three points added to Team France's score at the as the whistle was called there. The full two minutes run on that jam. Yeah, Gara La Grace wound up with the star for Team France. She was wearing the pivot stripe. But yes, so that is the first time, uh, first time France has scored points that it wasn't a double digit tally. A huge amount of love goes out to the official mouth guard of the 2018 Roller Derby World Cup, Sisu Mouth Guards. Thanks. Without you, events like this don't happen. We'd also like to thank Roll Line. And uh, it is a lead jammer situation for Team France. Mac Rocket has lead jam for France in blue. Lauren Much is through also, but this is the second time France has had lead jam in the contest. And Team USA are running back to the track. They had three blockers in the penalty box. They're two of them now back with us. Lauren Much picks up four points. Mac Riquet being slowed down. Yeah, Jess Rivas and Roxy Dallas holding her down. Caffeine also out there in the, in the penalty box. Carmen gets some. That is your four blockers for Team USA on this jam. But yeah, additional points going up on the board for Mac Rocket. She has nine so far. Lauren Much finds daylight through the outside and that is a four point scoring pass. Team France on their second lead jam of uh, the game. Yes. All right, so a good job again by Team France. Their third double-digit scoring jam of the four jams that they've scored. So um, this is official review. Yes. So everyone back in the middle. This is a good opportunity to tell you that at 7.30 p.m. UK time, after the final game of the day, there will be a day one roundup show looking back at all the action, best highlights, along with interviews and a live studio audience. We'd also like to thank Rollline. Rollline is the tailored gear to fit your needs. We'd also like to thank S1 Lifer Visor Helmet, Next Level Protection S1, the official helmet of the 2000. 18 Roller Derby World Cup. So it seems like Team France may have initiated this official review, but the clock will continue to roll.
I think it's just worth taking a moment to say how amazing our host has been. Rainy City Roller Derby here in Manchester, who are hosting the Roller Derby World Cup, have just been uh, wonderful hosts. They've organised an incredible uh, weekend of entertainment for us. Um, so we're going to bring you the information of that official review incredibly shortly. Didi Froquet jamming against Bonnie Thunders. Bonnie Thunders out in front and is the lead jammer for Team USA. Team France losing two yeah. losses to the penalty box. Exactly, Brom. Yeah, so this is a depleted pack for France going up against Bonnie Thunders. You see Bonnie engaging the two French defenders there. So in that official review, Team France were looking for a forearms penalty, but no call stands. And uh, as we said before, there was, there's no clock stoppage uh, during that either. So four, just over four minutes left on the clock. 47 for France, plays 143 for USA. So we are approaching the four-minute mark left in the contest. USA in white, 143. France in blue, 47. When France has scored, it has often been in double-digit tallies as they've only scored once uh, when it was less than double digits. Yeah, jam, jam before last, I believe. Right you are, Brom. And uh, Team USA coming together to almost put uh, the, the brakes on Team France, but it has been a star pass to France's Hooligan. number 93 Hooligan. The USA calling it off. Bonnie calls off the jam. Looks like 19 points there for Bonnie Thunders. France held scoreless on that jam. 152 to 47. Three minutes, 10 seconds left in the contest. Scald Eagle will be going up against. We're a little bit blocked out by Scald Eagle. I At think it's Pepe. Pepe. La Punch. Yeah, Pepe yeah. La Punch. Nobody in the penalty box for either team. It's an all skate here at the S1 Helmets CO track. And Pepe Le Punch looking like uh, she was going to find a an opening in the uh, in the pack, but spoke too soon. Scald Eagle, designated as lead jammer, now on a scoring pass as she tries to rotate through, and with a slight jump does successfully pass the French defenders. The star stash helps get Pepe through the pack, forcing the call off by Scald after Scald completed a four point scoring pass. So a total of nine for Team USA. We're approaching two minutes left in the contest. Lauren Much will be taking on, I think that is 51, I think that is Cash Pistache. Looking at armbands, it is Cash Pistache. Cash Pistache played the Roller Derby World Cup in 2011 uh, and was selected in 2014 but was injured days before. Oh. So it wasn't able, so great that they're able to be back with us here in Manchester, Rainy City Roller Derby hosting us. I have to give a shout out to Bison, number 34 for Paris Roller Girls, my French tutor. Greatly appreciate all the hard work she's put in. Oh, and we've lost the pivot stripe for Team USA. Lauren Much is the lead jammer, calls off the jam. Good job by Cash. I'm sorry, no, the star was passed to Miss Gedan. And I think that's one of the first pointless jams that we've had the entire game. It was. Um, and just as we go into the last minute as well, that star pass forcing the call off uh, incredibly quickly. Just under a minute left to go. Team France versus Team USA. Nearly every seat in the house taken, every inch of floor space. This is obviously one of the first games that people really want to be there for. Yeah. So, yeah, Team USA able to score points in the first 17 jams but not on Jam 18, and again, Bonnie Thunders looking to get that scoring streak back underway. She is lead jammer for Team USA. Bonnie now harvesting points for the Americans. The star passed to the French pivot. That is number 13, that is Gara Legrace. 
And it looks like in the last seconds of the game, we're going to see the two jammers go head to head. And they try. The Pax puts on a huge amount of speed. So we are done here at the S1 Helmets CO track. A rapturous amount of noise <laughs> filled the track at the end. Team France certainly uh, warming up their vocal cords as uh, we, we really now get underway with Roller Derby World Cup 2018. Filling the track, a very happy looking Team France uh, with their performance, and they should be. They, uh, when they were given the opportunities, when those uh, power jams arrived in their laps, yeah. they were getting double-digit jams. Yes, uh, yeah, that was the impressive thing of Team France's uh, showing here against Team USA is when, and perhaps the, the coachable moment for Team USA, as when the power jam was given to the French team, they were able to take advantage of it. Again, France only scores in four of the... 18 or so jams and uh, they have double digit scoring 19 jams, four of the 19 jams, but they're able to harvest double digit scoring tallies in three of those four, Brom. Yeah, and, um, and I think they remained calm at all times. I think that, that is what held France together and when they had those opportunities, they were so readily to take them. Yeah. Um, so a massive thank you for joining us here at the S1 Helmets Company Track. Uh, join myself and Val Capone tonight at 7.30 after the final game of the day when we're going to be bringing you a highlights roundup show, live studio audience, interviews. It's going to be live TV, folks. Anything can happen. Uh, so make sure you're there with us. So I'm Kent Smith, a.k.a. Kent the Politician. Honored to be able to help call Team USA's first bout in the 2018 Roller Derby World Cup as they look to repeat as Roller Derby Cup champions. And I've been Brom, and a massive thank you to our producer, Val Capone.